Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. First and foremost, please ignore and excuse the noise in the background. I am currently washing clothes and it is extremely loud for some reason. <laughs> No. But yeah, in today's video, I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of my workout routine. I'm going to be hitting the gym in a little while, and I thought what better time would I have than now to show you all some new goodies from Protein World. This company reached out to me recently, and they wanted to send me some of their products to try. Maybe they saw that, you know, I'm somewhat of a fit girly and said, you know what? We want you to try some of our products. They allowed me to order three items in here and I'm here to show y'all these items. Admittedly, this is my first time hearing of the brand, but after doing some research on their site, I'm like, oh, y'all look like y'all got some stuff that I may wanna try. They had protein bars, they had pancake mix, I think waffle mix. They had obviously, you know, your protein powders that you can make with the drink. Bon appetit. <laughs> A bunch of different options. I'm pretty excited to try them out. Um, I actually forgot what I chose. Definitely stay tuned for the latter part of this video so we can actually go through my actual workout routine. I'm gonna take y'all to the gym with me. All right, y'all, let's get into these goodies. All right, so the package came like this. Ooh. Okay, so let's see what I got. Must be the blender bottle. trying some items from their site feel free to use my discount code P W E B O N Y C to get 40% off of your purchase I will update y'all with the verdict just a little bit later today so catch y'all soon preference for the stretches I just do what feels right and what can stretch out my legs seven on each leg two or three times. Next up, we're gonna do this glute, I don't know, abduction. <laughs> and I'm using two 10 pound barbells. And then we're just gonna come up. And I do about 10 of these and I'm keeping my head down and also trying to keep my body straight as I come up. I'm not trying to extend beyond a straight line. It's really trying to focus it in my glutes. Now, what I really want to emphasize here is that I'm trying to focus it in my glutes. So I'm really squeezing when I come up. I really, really want for the focus to be my glutes. So I'm really trying to squeeze and put my, throw my hips back a little bit as I come up. And I do three sets of 10. Is a Smith machine? Child, don't get me to lying about the names. And I'm only gonna do 
10 pounds on each side to begin with because I haven't been consistent in the gym. So I'm gonna start right. My step ups, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, 10 on the 10 pound. All right, y'all, let's do 10 on this side. And again, I'm trying to make sure I focus this in my glutes. So I'm really like trying to throw my glutes back as I come down. Four. And as you can tell, I don't really have a set routine. I just do what's on my mind and what's available. So, yeah. So we're gonna do seven on each side. Probably three sets of seven. Three, four, five. Gonna go right into the left leg. Right, I'm going into my second set and I also want to add that I'm trying to keep my chin tucked. I hear that that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so I'm trying to keep my chin tucked. As far as my foot that's coming out, I try to make it so that when I come down, I'm at like a 90 degree angle. So try that. to the other leg <sighs> yeah these are no fun but they get the job done my last actual workout before I get on the treadmill and these are just gonna be some good mornings now I feel like social media workout people to really sleep on this one I don't see this one a lot I see the deadlifts I see you know split squats stuff like that but this one doesn't really get as much attention and I don't know why because this one I feel like it's a great exercise if you want to grow your glutes. I'm just taking a 20 pound weight and basically what I'm doing is I'm standing a little more than shoulder width apart or just about shoulder width apart and I'm going to basically push my hips back until I'm about 90 degrees then come back up. Push them back. And I'm going to do 10 sets of this. And as you can see, I'm really taking them slow. I'm really taking them slow because I feel like that is more control than it's actually going to work out and exercise those glute muscles. So I'm going to do two more sets of that and then hit the treadmill. I'm back home and it is time for the moment of truth. So we're gonna try this whey protein concentrate from uh, Protein World. Now this is 31 grams of protein. I wonder per what, per scoop or how is that determined? Uh, suggested serving size is four scoops. So I don't think I'm gonna do four scoops cause that's quite a bit for me, but I'm gonna do two scoops and 
see what it's given. I did end up getting the chocolate, the white chocolate flavor. One scoop. Bon appetit. <laughs> and I am taking some lactate, which is lactose free milk. And this is the 2% reduced fat milk. So I'm gonna do half water, half milk. I did two scoops, I'll do the 10 ounces of water, which is 296 milligrams. So we're gonna do about half of milk. We're gonna take some filtered water and do the rest as water. I probably did a little bit over the 10. Yeah, I did a little over the 10 ounces, but it's okay. We're gonna shake this well. I've never had a shaker bottle like this, one that didn't have a, um, like a, a ball or something in there to help shake everything around. This one, I guess the shaker is in the lid portion of the bottle. This bottle is nice. It's unlike any other shaker bottle I ever had. It gets really cold. As you can probably see, you can see like my fingerprints on it because it is so cold. It is probably made out of steel, I'm assuming. Stainless steel or something like that. But yeah, I'm just shaking this, making sure I get it all shaken up and incorporated into the liquid. Not bad, white chocolate, tastes like white chocolate. Mm -hmm. The milk gave it a lot of foaminess, so it's a lot to try to get down right now, but. Ooh, yeah, that milk gave it a lot of foaminess, so maybe do a little bit more water than milk, I would suggest, because that foam is a lot to take in. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty much only drinking foam right now. It's like getting stuck in my chest, yeah. You can see all of that foam. I didn't get any like chunks of protein powder in there. That's a really like cool, uh, unique type of shaker bottle. Like I said, I've never seen anything like that. I usually see them um, with the little ball or cylinder in there to help shake it around. But yeah, that actually managed to break up all of the protein powder and get it incorporated into the liquid. So. That was really good. I want to thank Protein World for sending over some goodies to me. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something new. If you've seen a new exercise that you wanna try at the gym, don't be scared, try it. The gym should be a fun place, a, a place free of judgment. Do what you can, listen to your body, and have fun most importantly. Again, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you wanna try any of the products that I used in today's video, feel free to head over to Protein World and use my code. Once again, it's P-W-E-B-O-N-Y-C and you can get 40% off of your purchase. All right, y'all, that is it. I'm about to go hop in the shower and finish up my day. I hope that y'all have a great day, great week whenever you're watching this video and until next time, y'all, peace.